nature hybrid of Ronaldinho and Henri, or an ADHD wonder kid whose playful nature may rob him of maximizing his potential. Just how good is Raphael Liao? In terms of Liao's ability to control the game and his link-up play, his stats are quite mediocre. Now, this confirms the lazy impression we have of him where he's not actively searching for the ball or making things tick on a persistent basis through the 90 minutes. His pass accuracy is lower than expected, but that can be explained by the fact that he is quite risky with the ball and perhaps lacks focus in the mundane nature of general possession play. But it is surprising because to the naked eye, Liao looks like a player who, even when he's playing up front at times, his link-up play is quite impressive, he's strong, he does have a very good pass IQ, as we will see when we move into the creative section. It's just focus is probably the biggest thing here and the willingness to get on the ball. This video is sponsored by ClipDraw, a software that we use to edit our videos. If you're interested in using this software too, please see the description below for affiliate links. <laughs> Statistically, I think it's fair to say long passes form a huge part of Liao's game. Look at his average pass distance, look at the volume of the long passes. He clearly loves to attempt to switch the play. Now, the eye test suggests that he's pretty hit and miss in terms of the execution of the long pass. At times, he's excellent at adding that bit of instep curl with the long pass, which redirects the attack, but most importantly, adds momentum and other times he's hitting these slow floaters which don't really seem to do anything and seem pointless so there's definitely something to work with here you know you could imagine him as an inside forward set at Chelsea in a wing back system where he's switching it out to Reese James but at the moment I wouldn't say it's a particularly standout attribute but it's definitely a hallmark feature in his style of play Unsurprisingly, Liao's defensive stats are mediocre. He's not one to roll up his sleeves and put in a box-to-box -box shift on the flank. His pressing numbers and even the eye test are abysmal. He walks to players without any real desire to exert real pressure. And this gives opponents acres of space and time to find a pass and allows them to get out of defensive areas. He does at times pop up in the right areas and get an interception, but it feels more like luck rather than a real effort to win the ball back. On the flip side, when Liao does lock onto a target and he's more in a recovery position, he can be quite effective at getting back, outpacing opponents and putting in a pretty robust challenge to reclaim the ball. So it's almost as if he lacks the focus to press and go forward to win the ball, but when something catches his eye and he has to run back and chase, he can come alive. Milan mostly line up in a 4-2-3-1 and Liao has struck up a brilliant relationship with a buccaneering Theo Hernandez who provides the natural width, the persistent width down Milan's left and that allows Liao to play the game at his own pace. He can be free to roam inside and create moments of havoc. He can up the tempo when he feels it's right and other times he just gets on the ball to be playful. He almost feels unmarkable in 1v1 situations when he's in the mood. And it almost feels like you'd even favour him in 1v2s, such as his comfort with the ball at his feet. Which begs the question, what teams would suit him if he left Italian football? Well, I think Barcelona are crying out. In conclusion, Liao is a player blessed with unnatural ability and on his day he's unplayable. But he has issues with focus and ambition. At times he reminds me of the winger equivalent of a Paul Pogba. Does he have the graft? and burning desire to be the best in the business. So he's prediction wise, it's tough. I think it would be strange if he doesn't end up world class. It would have to be a classic case of not wanting to push himself and struggling outside his comfort zone. But when you look at how Spurs and even Chelsea struggle to deal with him, there's definitely a raw jewel here who could impact the biggest games in Europe. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.